Hi, in this Unity tutorial, I just want to explain how to do a drop down in the inspector window, how to do your own drop down with values from your own script. And this is done quite simply using the editor GUI layout dot pop up function. So first what I did was I just had a sample scene. This is like a bare bones example here. And what I did was I added an empty game object called dropdown, and to it I have a dropdown script. And in the script, I just have an array. Two ways I did the array. One way I did it by just making a string array, and there's the names. And another way I did it was using the list collection, and there's a different set of names. And then these are the indexes that will hold the selected value. So then there, that's my class, the model behavior class. And then to the model behavior class, I made an editor class that, you know, customizes the inspector GUI. And those true two drop downs are right here. The first drop down is this one. And it's done off of the, the um, array, the my array array, <laughs> my my array array. So over here, this is a string array, and this one's done off of that. And then just for showing how to do it, I did it also off of the list collection, which isn't, um, it's a list of strings, so it can be converted to an array. So instead of just saying my list, which is the collection, then the collection has a method called toArray, which turns it into an array, which the pop-up function could use. All right, so... Um, when we have inspector um, editor scripts, we have to include the Unity using Unity editor. And inspector editor scripts, they have to go in an editor folder. So here's my editor folder and my assets. And here's the script. My editor script is inside of it. And then the editor script, you have to say what it's an editor script for. So I say a custom editor type of and this is the script this editor script is for, the drop-down script right here. And this is the drop-down script. And then inside it, I have the oninspector GUI function. And this line right here will just draw everything that would normally show in the editor for drop-down, which is this and this. And then these two controls here, that's my custom stuff. So first I get a pointer to the script, the drop-down script. So if this is an editor script for dropdown, target equals the dropdown script. All I have to do is typecast it, dropdown script, and now I have a pointer to my script. So here I kind of make a label, my array, and another label, my list. And those are the labels you see here for my two dropdown lists. And then I have to give it um, the index value that's going to return the value that's selected. <clears throat> this in this place, it sets the value that's selected, and then when the pop-up function comes back, it sets the value for the one that is selected if they change what they select. And um, I don't know, there's not that much more to explain. I have two lists here. One, they're both of a string type. One's a list and one's an array. And here, um, the pop-up function takes a string array. So even if I have a collection that's a list, I could use a string array by using a two array function. And then I have these little drop downs here with the names and you could pick them. And you may say like, I'm using this for my racing game that I'm making. And what I have is a folder where I put all the race tracks and the different race cars in. And depending on if I add more tracks or cars at any time, the list boxes will be able to read from that folder. And then you could pick which um, track or car you wanna race with in the inspector window as you're coding along the way. Um, there you go.